watching News 18 this morning. News from where you live. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. It is 511 on this Friday morning. A horse stable out of White County is making strides to impact our veterans and also first responders. News 18's Marvin Bills joins us live in studio right now. Marvin, good morning and tell us about this horse stable. Hey there, good morning Marley and happy Friday to you all at home. It's called Courage Rock Stable. Owner Kim Markham offers a therapeutic experience to veterans and first responders. After losing her son Seth in 2012 to an apartment fire while serving in the Army, on strength and encouragement through working with horses. It was a therapeutic experience for Kim, one she wanted to offer for veterans and first responders. During COVID-19, Courage Rock has seen an influx of clients joining the program. She says the goal is to bring some comfort and peace to those who have brought comfort and peace to others. I enjoy being outdoors. I enjoy being around these horses, but I really enjoy how this is affecting other people. Courage Rock Stable is hosting its fourth annual Horse Toberfest Fall Fundraiser and Chili Cookoff Saturday, October 17th. And coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from a veteran who has been impacted by Courage Rock Stable. And Marley, I don't think people at home know, but you're actually a, a horse girl yourself. You like horses and you have a pet horse? I have two. Yes, yes. And you're right. Many people probably do not know that. I have two horses back at home. I used to show back in the day. So that story right there, Marvin, is right up my alley. It, right, it's hitting close to home, right? I'm really excited for you guys to see Midnight. <laughs> Let me see. You can see Midnight right here. Oh, my goodness. That's a big, that's a big He's, horse. It's a gorgeous horse. And I think you told me it was a Clydesdale. I, it looks like a Clydesdale to me. Yeah. And you also said that they actually had a horse there named Marley. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I thought that was so ironic. Yes. In the story coming up in the next half hour, you're going to meet Midnight's and you're going to meet Marley, another Marley. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you so much, Marvin.